Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 151 of playing chess every day until 2000 Delo. Let us find an opponent. Let us find our opponent. Okay, I gotta click play to find an opponent. So we're rocking the bed head because I'm back to school today. So it's, it's quite an early film compared to what I have been doing, but that's okay. We just reached 2600 in puzzles, so I'm feeling decent. And, all right, we found Dax here, and we get the black pieces. Something tells me he's going to play d4. No. Okay. Looks like we're playing a Cairo. Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't see this at all. But I don't see why I wouldn't just play normal. Bishop out. Let's go here. He's going to play knight out. Okay, so he's trying to trade off my center pawn for a flank. So if I push, what can he really do? I mean, if I push, it restricts the knight. And if I push, he can't take due to this. His bishop cannot come here now. So let's just push and then play e5. And then this bishop's dumb. This knight's going to have a very hard time developing. He goes for that. We could we could do this, but I like, I like not overextending. Yeah, I think we just play here. Just take the full center like this. He does have three pawns here, but I'm not really afraid. Checks. Checks are possible, but queen blocks. And then there's not really much there. So I think now our game plan is going to be pretty simple. Well, what about this? He can't block like that. So bishop in, knight here. We just develop with tempo. But then we might have ideas of this. Let's go ahead and do that. Go here, and then we're attacking this. We're hitting this twice. Uh, but I guess if I go here, he can just do this. Hmm. This is interesting. Because then the queen is stuck to protecting. That's my point. So let's go ahead and hit it twice. Threatening this pawn. He can come out like this. Takes here. No. Okay, so he protects. Don't think pushing is a good option. But how is he going to develop is my question. Also, where do I want to put my knight? He can always kick me out at a moment's notice also. So if I go knight here, it kind of has some prospects of going here. Which is kind of what I'm planning. If I go here, I guess it does hold this. Let's, yeah, let's go for this. Let's just develop normal. And on the next move, I want to play here. Okay. That does not feel right. So I go here, takes, takes, here, takes, here. I guess he can castle then. Here takes here is kind of what I'm going for because he can't castle otherwise he loses the knight yeah he wants to get rid of that which makes sense very logical what happens if I go here takes here knight has to move goes here looks very good I guess if I go here takes takes he can't castle takes I don't think we'd want to take that's a bit annoying so obviously he wants to castle that's pretty clear if I were to take here and he takes here, I can take here, rook here. I don't think that's great. If I slide back, he just goes here. I think we might want to go here, takes here, but then he goes here, takes, takes, or takes, takes. So we just lose a pawn this way, right? Takes. I think we just need to get rid of his castling rights. Just trade down. But now I don't, I do not know if this is correct. Takes, doubles his pawns, but then he can use this as like a battering ram. Maybe we don't do anything. We just let him go ahead and ask the question. We could castle long, or we could stay safe and castle short. I think castling short's fine. Takes, okay, but that just kind of helps me. Pushes me away. It's fine. Okay, so going here would be a mistake. So I think we just go back, all the way back. And we're going to want to use the C file here. Because it's open for us. And his bishop sucks because of these pawns. So he's probably going to try and play this. Luckily for us, I guess that's hit twice. Or yeah, so like I said, he's going to strike with f4 here. So he wants to take. He wants to take, take, and then take. And this pawn's going to be very weak. What if I just go rook here, here, and then takes? No. Takes back with the rook and then try to double up. I think that's reasonable. Uh here takes anyways takes takes should be fine i think if he takes here we just ignore it so that we can potentially get this so if knight takes we go rook to e8 and then we're threatening to go here yeah so here takes check 
and then we'll recapture. And he has zero checks with the he has zero checks with the knight. So we'll go check and then recapture. He's got to go here and then we'll take or there. But yeah, now let's take back. He's up a pawn. This pawn is hanging. But now we have dominant uh, rooks. And we can go here and try to cut off the king's escape after getting two rooks onto the file. That could be strong. Not 100% sure what he's trying with that. Assuming he wants to push. But let's go ahead and take the pawn. If he plays a move like this, then we're fine. He challenges. So if this was not there, this would be a fork. So I can go here, but... A move that I'm kind of worried about is this, but I guess the knight is fine there. Let's go ahead and bring the other rook in. Just trade. Now we'll try and create some kind of mating net using the pawns and the rook here. The king is stuck protecting this, and I guess I can't go there anymore because of this. What I'm noticing though, no. Let's see. I mean, I have to use my pass pawns. So what if I go here, and I'm trying to get to this point, or win a pawn, that looks nice. So here, here. And we just want to throw this pawn forward. He goes like that. That's interesting. I don't know if that's good. But let's throw our pass pawn forward now. He's probably going to try and make a breakthrough. So if here, here, he's probably just going to push. So if here, I think we have to go here. And of course, if this, I don't know what we do. I don't think this does anything. Then he can just attack. Yeah, he wants to stop me from going here. But I think I can just play here, and if trades, that's kind of fine. Here, takes, takes, here. Wait, so here, if he takes, takes, I guess he has this, might be the point. I don't know if I want to go for this or not. No, because the bishop would hold that. Here, what about this? Let's go ahead and play it. If he wants to give up his bishop, that bishop's going to do a lot more in this game than my knight. And then we'll have ideas of going h6, g5, and try to create two pass, pass pawns. And at some point, we do have to activate the king. This doesn't seem too bad. But then here, and we should be fine. But then what am I doing after? No, he can't go there because of the knight. Okay, so he goes for that. Very interesting. So what's his plan after this here? To attack the pawn? I also have checks. Winning a... No, we don't win a pawn here. Check. I don't think giving up this pawn is a good idea. But maybe we can do this. What if we go here, and of course, if he if he takes, then we're just quite happy. So here, takes, and the question is, do I take with the pawn or the rook? I think the rook, but then here, how do we protect the pawn? Here, takes, here, I mean, that doesn't look great, but I guess then the point is we'll be able to use that pawn as a distraction. And now we do have checks and then pushing. So if he doesn't take, we're threatening to go check. King's forced back and then we'll... Yeah, okay, so he takes. And then we would have uh, pushed the pawn. Protects in that manner. Yeah, I think he's just better, to be honest with you. My rook's kind of misplaced. Here, takes, here. Yeah, he's going right after this. Or to go here can't push because then takes. I don't know if I can really stop that. If I go here, this is a problem. But if I just go here, takes. No. Can't do that either. I think I have to strike back here. Push a take. And then he probably goes here. Takes, takes, push. And then we, we really need to activate the king. His king's so active and ours hasn't moved. Okay, so he just goes for that. Takes takes so now we need to bring the king what if we go here takes here then we have an outside pass pawn and if here here then we can push i like that because we're just gonna have an outside pass pawn he's gonna have two passers which is probably better okay so he's he's just up a pawn so we cannot trade rooks maybe check your check here takes let's go here and now we're gonna try and do this and a rook cuts off the king from entering. So now our king should be able to come over and stop the pawns. Meanwhile, we're going to try and promote. What does he want with that? Just attack him. Now the rook's got to move one more time. Probably wants this. Then I just go here. Or his plan was that if I go here, he's going to go behind, maybe? Yeah, he knows that if I, if I 
manage to, uh, if I trade the rooks, then I'm gonna lose. So we're not gonna trade rooks, we're gonna go here. But the issue now is my king is actually cut off, it's stuck in this box too. So he's just gonna throw this pawn forward. If I go here, there's this. No, there's not. Here, check here. If I go here, he goes here. Yeah, he played this very well. I think I need to get my king over here. I don't want to trade though. I wonder if I can draw with this. Takes here, push, and since he can't make any forward progress, it's gonna go here, here. Meanwhile, I'm trying to win these. God, do I want to go for that? Here, takes here. But what about here, if he just pushes, takes here, here, I don't think that works. So here, if he doesn't take, I go here, if takes, then here. And if this, this, here, 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 then we throw the pawn forward. Okay, let's go for this. I don't think he'll take, but if he does, then I think we will build a draw. Okay, now let's throw the pawn forward. Here, now the king can never go forward. Yeah, I screwed this one up. So I'm going to go here, but the issue is that he's going to get the king to this square, and then he's going to push. Yeah, so now I just have to... See, I can't take, because then this runs. So I guess let's just walk back and forth. I don't think we can stop it. So he's going to go probably around. Uh, he gets here, doesn't he? Takes the opposition. Yeah, I mean, we're going to go for a stalemate, of course, but yeah, okay, so now he just goes here and then promotes. GG's. Oh, he's really trying to get me out of there. Okay, so cuts this off. If I go here, it's just checkmate. I think this would result in a stalemate? No. I can always go back here, so... Promote. <laughs> and then here. And it will be checkmate. Yeah, GG's. Let's take a look at this. So I felt like I was crushing in the beginning, but then I lost my advantage very quickly. Yeah, a little bit. So he played with an 86% accuracy, and I played with a 75.4. So yeah, we're just plus 1.4 here. This was wrong. Still plus 1. Taking was a mistake. What did I have to do? I had to take this one. Yeah. So it wanted me to give the pawn, but destroy the structure like this. And I can, I can understand that. And he's just, it's equal here. That's a mistake. What did I miss? Oh, why did I not put my knight here? That's such a beautiful square for it. Rook here's a mistake because he just wins the pawn. Yeah, it's just plus one for him. And then mistake. Because he's going to win the pawn. And this is just a winning end game for him. So... There's nothing I could do. Let us play a second game. Okay, we get the white pieces against a 1700 Mr. Matt here. So we're going to play the Vienna. Okay. It appears like we're going to go into the mainline Vienna Gambit. So he's taking a little bit of time here. So maybe he is used to the normal Knight F3 move. I think there is a line here to force a queen trade with this here. No, no, that wouldn't, I don't think. Yeah, it would. Could trade a for or uh, force a queen trade. Because I wouldn't be able to recapture, he'd take the bishop. The rook. Oh my gosh, I can't draw arrows, I can't talk, I can't do anything this morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he plays knight out, but this is not right. Because knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes. Hmm, okay. That's interesting, for sure. I have not seen that move. So his idea is clearly to get the fork. I'm kind of half debating on just doing this, but that would be a dumb move. Here, let's check to destroy his structure, and then we can just block this from happening. Here, takes, here, 
takes, takes, then he has the fork, so that doesn't work. We're up a piece currently. If there was any checks with this, if I go here, he takes, and then this is defended. That's just annoying. Is there any way for me to retain this, this piece? That's what I want to know. I don't think there is. It sucks. If this was not here, we could sack the queen. No, we couldn't. Check. Knight back. We could move here. No. Because queen just takes. Do, 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 do. Let's see. I'm not a fan of going here and then just allowing this to happen. So then I gotta play this and then push. Well, I guess then we take. I mean, oh, but if I go here, he's gonna get this check in and then win the rook. So there's a big problem here. So I think I just play here then because I don't think we can allow this check. No, because then he forks us. So if I go here, queen comes in check. I guess I can block with the knight. So that would actually be a mistake. So here takes, here takes, we kind of need to stop this, so knight out maybe, takes, takes, but then still comes in. Quite sure we just need to move this. I guess we can't even play knight here because after this. Okay, so if I go here to stop the check, is that something that we need to do? If I go here, if I go here, I'm putting pressure on this. Takes, takes, we're happy. So if here, check, we have this, because, yeah. But then there's another problem with that, this knight check. So we don't want to play this move, and he can induce it. So if here, queen check, here, he's got this. And then, so if here, queen check, here, well then what's he doing? Can't give the check because of this. So I think that should be fine. We need to get this out of our position. He could hold on to it with a move like pawn here, but is that good? Knight takes, pawn takes. He's got quite the uh, little pawns here. <laughs> there it is. I just don't think we can allow, allow this knight to just chill. Yeah, we definitely have to take here. He's gonna have two pawns here, but we should be fine. Maybe move here. Put pressure on this. That looks good. Here, here. That does not look very good for me, but... So this pawn is loose. How do I take advantage? I mean, I feel like I have to go here. Holds the pawn, kind of keeps the bishop at bay. He's got two very strong pawns. But our plan is to go here and just castle short. Of course, he could play d3, but that just loses a pawn. It'd be a little bit silly. Takes, takes, takes. We can take because the queen holds. Okay, bishop out is a good move. Okay, let's develop with tempo here. Probably goes back, I would imagine, because the only other move is this. So we could hold on to it, take back, and then we have this open rook file. But I don't know if that's great. We could just go back and contest this file now, which is kind of part of what I wanted. So if we go back, and he goes back, takes, takes, castles, and there's some pressure here immediately. Let's try to keep the pieces on the board. I'm pretty sure he, ha he does have to challenge the bishop. Else he's just gonna have problems. And we should be able to win this pawn with a move like castles and then here. So he's getting ready to castle along. Let's go ahead and castle short. So currently our threat is this. And if he castles this way, oh, he's just, he's attacking the pawn. I guess the king would be on this square. I was thinking that we might have a discovered attack. So he realizes that he might have to do something about that. Takes, takes, queen here, castles, takes, maybe. He definitely just goes back. Yeah, I think we just need to go ahead, trade off, and then just play here. Queen takes. Okay, let's play here. He can now develop the bishop, so he probably will go here. And we'll play this. And if he pushes, we'll move. But then he gets in. But I guess then the queen protects. The queen can go here to protect this pawn and this pawn. Then here. We desperately need to get our bishop into play. And the other rook. Yeah, he's got moves like rook to c8. Queen there, I, I expected that. Here, he goes here. Then how does he deal with this? Here, he goes here. Try and fianchetto. Yeah, I mean, here, 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 here takes here. Then we can take the pawn. I think we should be fine to play this. He's gonna push for sure. But it opens up our bishop, which is very important. Yes. Now here, if he pushes here? Yeah, I don't think he pushes. Let's play this. Takes, takes, or takes, takes. Because if takes, takes, then he takes here? No, because then I come in. Yeah, so he goes for that. 
Yeah, but we can take, after takes, we just win this pawn back. Here, here. This becomes in, maybe? Yeah, here, here, takes. So maybe we don't go there. But I think that's our only move. Then the queen's kind of tied down. Hmm, maybe we just lost a pawn for no reason. Da -da -da -da. Okay, he attacks the queen. So we can now go back and protect. But should we? We could also offer a queen trade. But after takes, takes, he has that. But then here, and then we get in. If I go here, he can't take because then I take here. So let's offer a queen trade. Just because we're going to be able to get the rook onto the seventh rank. And then this rook will be able to take here. That's what I'm thinking. But he can just castle short and stop that. Could also just go back. But then I take here. So I'm, I'm quite sure he's gonna have to trade queens yeah okay so he goes for the queen trade i'm suspecting he'll take on b2 and if he doesn't then i'll play here okay so i go here so we're hitting the bishop held by this and then i think we just want to put the rook behind the pass pawn and he goes back rook behind could go here because he can't take but then i would lose the pawn let's just bring the other rook Let's get it active. If he moves his A rook, we can always push and then try to win this pawn. A attacks. He can't take. I don't want to push it too, too far. Let's put it, let's push the pawn. I guess he can take. Yeah, that was a mistake. We definitely should not have given him this pawn. But I guess, I don't know, it's hard to say. And he takes the pawn for sure, for sure. But let's just keep pushing our pass pawn. Because we're going to win this pawn back if he plays this. So he has to play here, I think. He plays here, then we take, and then we're going to be able to go here, which is actually quite nice. But we can't do it too soon. We can't push, because then he does... or no. Wait. So if I go here, he goes here, takes, here, then we double up, and then we're threatening this. So next move, here. And if this, we go here. And then if this, we go here. And then I don't know how he stops the pawn, because I'm going to go here, which holds this. Oh, that's a good move. Yeah, he saw the issue. Now, I think the problem with this move is that there's this. Slide back and try for here so that he doesn't have this. Could also just abandon it and go for this. I don't know if that's the right move, though. This is our biggest asset in the position. Slide back, try for that. Because ultimately, we do want to put two, pawn or two rooks on this, and we want to go here at one point. The uh, immediate... As soon as he does that, we have to go here. Then this will be able to get kicked away by that. So he's going to have to play this to stop, to allow this, basically. Yeah, but he goes there too soon, I think. So here, here, and then we could even play this right away. No, because he's got a check here. But we would just take, okay. So here, here, double up, and then go here. Push. I guess after this, 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 he can move the rook to stop this. So maybe I want to go here, but then takes and our rook is going to be lost. So we can't actually do that. So let's double up. Now probably here. Yeah. Wow, this guy's pretty good, I must say. Okay, let's try and deflect this away from this. And then we got to do the same thing over here. So he's got to constantly be dealing with that. King there, he wants this, but then I can go here. That can't be good for him, right? Try and win this pawn, maybe. If he goes here, we just go here, because then he's forced away. Maybe he goes here first. He can't allow me to take here, and then this, though. And if he pushes, I guess I take. And then once again, if he goes here, we have this. Yeah, he takes. But now he's going to push his pawn, too. But let's go ahead, take, and then we're going to go here, trying to get the rook off of this square. And he's getting low on the clock. He's got a minute 20 versus my 440, which is always nice to have a time advantage. He's under a minute. Okay, yeah, king there. But now we can just come in. So let's go check. We do have to be careful of this, but if he goes here, we just go check. But no. Yeah, there's that. So we can bring the other rook up. The issue is then he's gonna play this. So if I go here, he plays this. I take, he takes. I would take back here. Okay. So I think this just works. Rook here, or bishop here. I take, he takes, I take, he takes, and then I would promote. So this tactic does not work. And of course, if he attacks me, I simply just promote. 
and he's down to 25 seconds. I do think this is the most logical move, but it does not work. Okay, he just sacks. That also makes a lot of sense. And he's down to 10 seconds. I wouldn't be surprised if he just resigns. Just gonna go for the pawn push. I guess we do need to be a little bit careful. So let's go here. Or go check first. If I go here, he pushes. Okay, so if I go here and he pushes, we just go here and we should be able to win it. I don't think we need to make this complex. He can't attack me. Pushes, we just go here. And it'll simply just be a trade off. And we'll be up a rook. Oh, I see a problem. I go here. If I take, then he skewers me. But, so I go here. I don't have to take right away. We can move the king. We do have time. He'll probably leave this. We're just going to move the king. And if he attacks me... Okay, he's just going to force a trade. I don't think that's correct. Yeah, I mean, now the rook's just going to come in. Can go here. Push. I protects. Let's go here. My point is I just want to go here. Yeah, rook... Pr he goes there to protect. Let's see. Let's go here. If push takes, probably just pushes. All right, now let's go ahead and cut the king off. Here, here, takes, here. Okay, so I'm thinking we just push. Push here, takes. No, he can't push because this is pinned. Let's go here, takes here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're just looking for trades. And then we're just going to walk the king. Takes like that. But I think that was actually a little worse. Because now I just go like this. Push here, and then we have this. And it'll be GG's. Probably here. Here. Yeah, but I can just slide the rook here. And now it's his turn, and it looks like he will just run out of time. No? Okay. Bring the king up, and he resigns. GG's to my opponent. He, uh, he played very good. So let's take a look at this. We played with a 90% accuracy, he played with an 82.1, and let's see here. So, we had the main line Vienna Gambit, and we took it. Okay. I thought that that was actually best. Right, right, right. Oh my gosh. I always forget this. Like, this is in my prep. I always forget to pin the knight. And in this game, we see why that's an issue. So, we did find the only move. We found the only move twice, and we had to trade. This is a mistake. We had to go up. Okay. Another only move. <laughs> Castles, yeah. And now, trading's not great. Apparently, we just had to go check again. I don't know why and then go here yeah i was actually debating on something like that as well anyways we go for the trade then we have to attack attack he takes the pawn uh, where should i have went should have went for the check okay we get this push him back this is actually the best move okay and i thought i was just giving up a pawn that's a big mistake what did i miss just pushing again oh, okay because then he's got to go there, and go there, and we just get in immediately. Ah, Okay, that would have been a nice find. We kind of did it in a different fashion, where we just got in, and then the bishop just forced this trade. And then, of course, in this position, there was a little trick here. If I were to, let's say, let's say he just moves the pawn, and I got greedy, there's this. Which would be just nasty. So, take, go into this end game. He made me work for it. <laughs> but, props my opponent. This is a very good game. This is also a very good uh, instructive moment here. If your opponent is occupying a square and you want to go there in this position, we don't want it to just move around and repeat. So, just make a waiting move with the rook, and then the opponent will be forced away. Because he can't, he can't push this pawn. Yeah, I mean, why is it doing this? Oh, it, that's pinned, right? Yeah, so he can't push the pawn due to the pin, but he also just uh, doesn't want this. 
So we had a performance elo of 2150, and he played uh, like a 1950. So this guy is no joke. If you enjoyed the video today, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing. Check the description, join the Discord, join my chess club for future tournaments, and check out my Instagram. I'll see you tomorrow.